Hey peeps in YouTube land, Asenva here, and some special new guests. So joining me today are two dolls from the Hujo company. I have one that is a very familiar face right here in white skin, he is the Hujo wing. And then my new friend over here on the left, he has no name yet, but I'll be calling him Jake for video's sake. And he is one of their brand new dolls and he should be coming out soon. He is really cool and we're going to do a comparison of the two so you can get to know them better. Let's get started! Okay, so here are all three of the Hujo dolls lined up together. Uh, as you can see, they are like different heights. Uh, just to give you kind of like a rundown of the proportions and sizes, I can go ahead and do that right now. Starting off with Jake, which is our new Hujo guy that we have here. Uh, he is a 24 centimeter doll. The neck is going to be a 4 centimeter size. The girth of his chest right here is 10.5. Shoulders right here to right here is going to be 5.5 centimeters. The waist is going to be 9 centimeters right here. Hips are 10.5. The feet down here. He's got little feet, and they are 3.5 in centimeter length. And the eye that he'll be using is going to be a 12 millimeter eye. Um, I have some glib eyes right here that, that we'll take a look at and see how they look inside of him. And the wig size that he's going to be using is going to be like a 6 to a 7. This is a Michiko wig from the Junkie Spot, and um, I put it on him earlier, and I'll do some pictures of him wearing this wig. And it actually, it just slips right on him, so that's a good size for him. Moving on to my wings. The big difference is, one would be the height. The wings are taller than the new guy here, my new guy that I'm meeting, Jake. The wings here are 26 centimeters, so they're about 2 centimeters taller than these guys right here. The wig size, since he does have a bigger head, he does have to use a bigger wig. The wig that the wings will have to use are like a 7 to 8 inch wig. The eyes are also something that are going to be different because the little guy over here, he uses the 12 millimeter eyes. These guys, as you can tell, they're going to need a bigger eye. He'll be using a 20 millimeter eye. Everything else is pretty much the same. They both have uh, the same girth of the neck, it's 4 centimeters, the chest is the same, the shoulder length is the same, the waist is going to be the same, hips are the same, and the feet are actually the same. So the big difference that you're going to see between these two guys here are going to be in the head, uh, because everything else as far as the body is concerned is the same, the measurements are the same, so clothes that you would have had for your wing are going to be able to, they should be able to fit the new guy, which I'm just calling Jake for now. So along with that, let me go ahead and show you what the head caps look like because they are a bit different in the inside. So this is the new guy, this is Jake, um, and as you can tell, his face, he does have a smaller face than the wing, I'm going to bring him up here, smaller face, smaller eyes, uh, but the inside of the head is really, really interesting. They have the same stringing, just like the Hujo Berry and the wing. Uh, the big thing that I see that's different right off the bat is the eyes. They have more of the lip coming out at the top like the Hujo Babies. Um, they have kind of like a bowl to them that you can go ahead and the eye will go ahead and sit in. Uh, there isn't any eye mechanism right for now, uh, there may there may be some later. I'm not sure, but that'd be fantastic if there were. Since there is no uh, actual eye mechanism like the Hujos, these bigger Hujos have, like the wings have, they're going to be using uh, putty to keep the eyes in, which isn't too bad. You'll just have to put it on uh, underneath the strings where they're at here. So looking at the two side by side here, you can see that. They also strung him differently. They have the knots at the top of the eyes, and I'm not sure if that's how they're going to go ahead and finalize the stringing for them. But these guys right here, the knot is actually going to be somewhere further into the body versus these guys that have the knots up here. But I think it's interesting how the two of them have different uh, shaped eyes for the eyes to fit into. So as far as mobility goes for the two dolls, 
since they have similar bodies, everything with the body is pretty much the same. It's really good. Um, they're able to lock in their legs and they can sit up if they want. They can also lock their knees. They have different things for the knee joints here as well. Really, really awesome jointing for these little dolls. They're really cool. The hands, like I said, everything is pretty much the same since their bodies are the same. If you have a Gujo Berry, if you have a Gujo Wing, it's going to be the same. Same deal, so it's really good. Another really cool thing that I liked about the two dolls is the head. They're both very interesting sculpts. Um, this head they have for the larger, the wings, they do have the ability to look up like this. Down is a little bit different. And side to side is a little bit more different. The new guy here, he can move it really easily, which is really cool. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's just different um, sculpting in the head. As you can see here, they do have almost kind of like a lock here that matches up with a little piece that's right here that keeps them looking forward. Um, the Hujo wings also have that same notch and bead right there that matches with this other side right here. So that's another cool little thing that the two of them have that they share. So I mentioned that they both use two different size eyes. This is a 20 millimeter Hujo eye. These are the animatic eyes. As you can tell, there's a huge difference between sizes. The new boy, the one I'm calling Jake, he uses uh, these smaller eyes. These are actually 12 millimeter eyes. These are glibs. And this is the one that my Hujo Berry is wearing right now that fits into the wing just fine. 20 millimeters. So as you can see, there is quite a difference in size and in shape for the two dolls. So that's also another really cool thing that they have. Different. So this is Jake with the 12 millimeter eye in. As you can see, it's actually a really nice fit. It looks really nice. Um, I don't have a face up on him yet, but I'll post some pictures of the face up and the eyes in. So yeah, it's a little eye. They look really good. I think it's a good size for them. You could, I guess, go a little bit bigger if you didn't want as much white in there, but I would probably just stick with the 12 millimeter. This is the um, 20 millimeter animatic eyes inside of the wing. They look really nice. I really like them. I, for a brief moment, had thought that maybe using the animatic eyes would be like too girly looking in him since he's supposed to be a guy, but honestly, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It actually looks really cool. And there's a lot of different colors and styles that they have um, that you can choose from, so you could pick, I guess, a manly color to put in the eyes. But um, they're a really nice fit, and like I said before, the really cool thing about the wings and the uh, berries is they do have that eye mechanism that just, you just pop it right in there, and then um, they're good to go. So my other friend Jake over here, he does have to have putty inside of his eyes in order to keep it in there. Um, there isn't any set eye mechanism as of now. Um, so it will be using putty for the time being. And that about wraps it up for my review for today. If you want to learn more about these new dolls, please feel free to visit thejunkiespot.com. Subscribe to their newsletter to get up-to-date news on the awesome things going on at the store. They do sell the Hujo Wings, and they hopefully will be selling this guy soon as well. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.